Hey there, fellow time travelers of television. Television, do you remember those days when the TV screen was a window to our wildest imaginations? If you're a true Blue Spidey fan, you might just have swung into the past with the 1977 TV series The Amazing Spider-Man. Ah, the memories. Who can forget the thrill of watching Spider-Man, played by the legendary Nicholas Hammond, do his thing? Those web-slinging acrobatics, the catchy theme music, and the classic Spidey suit that was pure 70 seconds nostalgia. It was a show that captured the hearts of many, weaving a web of excitement and adventure. But enough about me reminiscing, I want to hear about your favorite moments from the show. Was it the daring stunts, the charismatic villains, or the charming Peter Parker trying to balance his dual life? Share your cherished memories, the moments that made you sit at the edge of your seat, or even the ones that had you dreaming of swinging through the cityscape. As we dive into some random facts about the show, let's remember those golden days of television together. So, did you catch the amazing Spider-Man back then? Share your stories, and let's take a trip down memory lane. Now, let's swing into some fascinating tidbits about the show, shall we? The 1977 TV series The Amazing Spider-Man swung into the hearts of viewers, marking the Web Slinger's first live-action adaptation. This iconic show was born from the pages of Marvel Comics, bringing Stan Lee and Steve Ditko's beloved character to life. Nicholas Hammond portrayed Peter Parker, a mild-mannered photographer who donned the Spidey suit to fight crime in New York City. The show's style was a reflection of its time, featuring a blend of action, drama, and a touch of campiness that captured the essence of 1970s television. Notably, the series introduced iconic characters like J. Jonah Jameson, played by David White, and Aunt May, portrayed by Jeff Donnell, adding depth to Spider-Man's world. While limited by the technology of its era, the show's special effects captured the spirit of Spidey's acrobatics and web-swinging adventures. The Amazing Spider-Man had a lasting impact on popular culture, paving the way for future live-action adaptations of the beloved superhero. Despite its relatively short run, the show remains a cherished part of Spider-Man's legacy, showcasing the enduring appeal of this friendly neighborhood hero on the small screen. In the 1977 TV series The Amazing Spider-Man, there was a notable difference in the portrayal of Peter Parker compared to his comic book counterpart. In the comics, Peter Parker was a high school student who got bitten by a radioactive spider and initially used his powers selfishly. However, his lack of responsibility ultimately led to the demise of his Uncle Ben teaching him a valuable lesson about power and responsibility. In the show, Peter Parker is portrayed as a graduate student when he gets bitten by the spider. Unlike in the comics, he doesn't have Uncle Ben to guide him in the right direction. Despite this difference, the TV series focuses on Peter's journey of learning responsibility and using his powers for good. One significant departure from the comics in the TV series was the character of J. Jonah Jameson. In the comics, Jameson is known for his abrasive and flamboyant personality. He passionately despises Spider-Man and carries out a relentless smear campaign against the hero. However, in the Amazing Spider-Man TV series, Jameson's character is toned down. He is portrayed as more of uncular, and surprisingly, he actually likes Spider-Man. This stark contrast to the comics adds a unique twist to the character dynamics, as Jameson's support for Spider-Man goes against the established norm. In fact, this TV series is the only adaptation where J. Jonah Jameson doesn't believe Spider-Man to be a menace. This change in Jameson's character adds depth and complexity to the show's narrative, creating a different dynamic between him and the titular hero. In conclusion, the 1977 TV series The Amazing Spider-Man offered a fresh take on the iconic character. Peter Parker's journey of responsibility without Uncle Ben's guidance and the unique portrayal of J. Jonah Jameson as a Spider-Man supporter set this adaptation apart from the comics and other Spider-Man adaptations. The Amazing Spider-Man, an unfilmed cameo in European debut in 1977, The Amazing Spider-Man swung onto television screens, marking a unique moment in the history of the web slinger. While there's no evidence that Nicholas Hammond was set to cameo in Spider-Man, no way home, we can delve into two other intriguing facets of this iconic TV series. Firstly, the series began with a feature film on CBS in the United States. Notably, this was the first time a Spider-Man production hit theaters, albeit exclusively in Europe. 
This marked a pivotal moment for the superhero's journey to the big screen. Secondly, The Amazing Spider-Man shared the small screen with another Marvel web-slinger series, Electric Company, during its run. This simultaneous production of two different TV shows featuring the same comic book superhero is a rare occurrence in television history, showcasing the enduring popularity of Spider-Man. While the rumored cameo remains unverified, these aspects of the 1977 The Amazing Spider-Man series highlight its significance in the world of superhero entertainment. In the 1977 TV series The Amazing Spider-Man, there was a need for efficiency in filming due to budget constraints. One notable fact is that an entire episode had to be shot within seven days. To save time, Nicholas Hammond, who played Peter Parker, shot scenes with the first unit, while the second unit worked with Freddie Waugh to film the Spider-Man stunt scenes. This decision was made because approximately 85% of the scenes featured Peter Parker, while only 15% featured Spider-Man himself. The exclusion of regular characters from Spider-Man's world in the TV series was primarily driven by budget considerations. Many of the characters were under copyright protection by their creators and Marvel Comics, which would have required costly rights fees for their use. Additionally, creating realistic-looking costumes, props, and special effects to properly portray Spider-Man's notorious rogues gallery of villains would have been prohibitively expensive. Interestingly, the pilot episode of The Amazing Spider-Man received a cinema release in Australia. Furthermore, it found its way to Bahrain cinemas in the early 1980s, suggesting the enduring popularity of the iconic superhero, even beyond the realm of television. These budgetary constraints and creative decisions shed light on the challenges faced by the production team behind the 1977 TV series The Amazing Spider-Man. Despite limitations, the show left a lasting impact on fans and remains a nostalgic piece of television history. Nicholas Hammond's Miss Spider-Man cameo Nicholas Hammond, known for his role as Peter Parker in the 1977 TV series The Amazing Spider-Man, was set to make a cameo appearance as a cab driver in Spider-Man No Way Home. This cameo generated buzz among fans, as it would have been a nostalgic nod to his iconic portrayal of the Web Slinger. However, fate had other plans. Due to location filming overruns, Hammond's cameo scene was ultimately cut from the script just days before it was scheduled to be shot. This news disappointed fans who were eagerly anticipating his return to the Spider-Verse. Hammond's connection to the Spider-Man franchise spans decades, making his potential cameo a significant moment for both the actor and the fans. Despite the missed opportunity, his legacy as the 1970s Peter Parker endures as a beloved part of Spider-Man's live-action history. In the world of superhero cinema, surprises and disappointments often go hand in hand. Nicholas Hammond's cameo might not have made it to the big screen in No Way Home, but the excitement it generated reminds us of the enduring appeal of Spider-Man's legacy. As we bid adieu to the web-slinging adventures of The Amazing Spider-Man from 1977, it's impossible not to be swept away by the nostalgia and wonder of this iconic series. For many, it was a gateway into the world of superheroes, a cherished childhood memory, or a source of inspiration that continues to resonate with us even today. As you reflect on your personal connection with The Amazing Spider-Man, you may find yourself transported back to those moments of awe and excitement as you watched Peter Parker swing through the city, battling villains and striving to balance his dual life. Perhaps it was the infectious theme song that still plays in your mind or the way this series captured the essence of a hero's journey. We invite you to share your treasured memories, your thoughts, and your feelings about the amazing Spider-Man. Was there a particular episode that left an indelible mark on your heart? Did the show's portrayal of Spider-Man influence your own values and beliefs? Or maybe you have a personal anecdote that connects you to this iconic series in a unique way. Your reflections are not only a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, but also a tribute to the generations of fans who have embraced Spider-Man as a symbol of hope and resilience. Thank you for taking this moment to journey down memory lane with us and for sharing your thoughts. Your connection to the amazing Spider-Man enriches its legacy and reminds us all of the enduring magic of this beloved series. Keep those memories alive and let the web slinger continue to inspire us all. With heartfelt appreciation, 